What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Shutter Talk. We are here with Karina. Why? Why you think that's a nice intro or something? I don't know. Karina yeah. Joseph, um, photographer, videographer. More photographer. Photographer yeah. um, from Ottawa met not met actually met right now but yeah. we've been talking on instagram or she's been just like blowing <laughs> up she's been blowing up my dms with like these are the nicest pics ever even though like I've been all, showing him some love, she's been like... sending love over so i was like you know let me send some love back i don't know if it's really sending love but invited her on the podcast it's cool it's my first time i'm excited is that actually your first podcast yeah yeah ever. well it's first of many i'll tell you that yeah, you gotta like get that. ready because i think podcasts okay. are becoming a big thing now but um how about you introduce yourself let people know okay. who you are your name your gender your number and not all not all that <laughs> stuff but i always say that because i'm like you know people need to know okay so it's 514 <laughs> five, it starts with 514 oh okay yeah yeah how do you still have that but you live in ottawa Okay, sorry, we're getting sidetracked. <laughs> go ahead, go no, ahead. No, it's I have like free Canada wide calling, so it's not like long okay. distance. Okay, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so my name is Karina Joseph, as you guys probably just heard. Yeah. I'm twenty. Twenty um, years 20 old, years guys. Old, like, Two years older than me. Yeah, yeah. Not that it really matters, but go ahead. No, yeah, I don't know. I'm twenty. Um, fun fact, I have a twin actually. Okay. A lot of people don't know that. If they really? Don't know me? Yeah, like a real, like actually. Like an actual like twin. Like an actual twin, and like I'm actually a Gemini, I need to so like. I have, I'm a Gemini and I have a twin. Actually, yeah, I got to meet your yeah. twin one day. Well, she's Even though I just met you, I, <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Well, I, I'm actually going to Montreal like on Friday, so maybe I'll, yeah. well, like for like two hours, so never oh, mind. Yeah. But um, how about you tell us how you grew up? Kind of just get a quick backstory on okay. how you grew up. I know you grew up in Montreal, which is very different than Ottawa. Well, I don't know yes if it's and very no. Different, but I mean, okay, so I'm born in Ottawa, but I grew up in Canada. Oh wait, you were born. Yeah, in Ottawa. I was born okay. in Ottawa. So I grew up like in Canada okay. until I was 14. Then at 14, I moved to Montreal. Um, so I do speak French like fluently. Moi aussi. Toi aussi. Ah oui, pourri. Ma mère est française. Mais c'est d'accord, c'est un autre mot. Non, non, non. Ma, ma mère est française. Son, son, française son, comme de France. Son nom est... Oui, elle vient de France. Ok, um, ok. But mon... Can you just do French? No, no, like, we're really not doing like this that. in French. People listen to this. <laughs> well, maybe some of them listen to French. But my, yeah. my mom is French, but my dad is English. But it's funny how my last name is Brule, but that's my dad's last name and he's English. But it's like Brule. Yeah, I know. Like, it doesn't make sense, eh? Do you have the accent on the E? Yeah, and there's the accent, oh, too. Okay, yeah, that's like but French. But like, people don't know the accent because you can't actually put that into your uh, username in most things. So True. they all think True. it's just Brule. <laughs> no, I, I read it as Brule. Okay, like, but... automatically. Okay, so we're getting <laughs> off subject a little bit. Continue, continue. But yeah, um, so I moved to Montreal when I was 14. Uh, oh. and yeah. Okay, so you lived here a while. I then. lived here a while. Yeah. But like really more Canada, less Ottawa. So you, if you live in Canada, well, this is a question. If you live in Canada, do you ever go downtown Ottawa? Um, or is your life Canada? Because I had some friends who lived in Canada. Well, and like, they know downtown Ottawa. I wasn't Ottawa. driving at the time. I was oh, yeah, I guess. But like, does your family go? Not often. I mean, my parents work downtown, but okay. I was, like, going to school in Canada. Like, Yeah, so you never really left Canada. No. That's weird. Yeah, so I feel like I'm rediscovering the city right now. Oh, that's yeah. nice. <laughs> okay. I'm, like, driving through it, and I'm like, You're okay. You're like, oh, no, yeah. I'm not even kidding. Me too, though, but, like, I don't live in Canada. Like, I live, what, like, pretty close to downtown. Like, okay. It's a 50-minute bus ride. Well, like, you can get there in 30. Okay. But the thing is, like, I never went downtown. I had no reason, so, like, I'm discovering the city as well. And okay. I, I know what you mean by that. It's, like, yeah. you go, and you're, like... Damn, I didn't even know, like, there's place, like, I didn't even know that the art center was. Exactly, well, I, I thought I knew, but... <laughs> no, I, I've never been in the art center what? until last week for a like, podcast. I was like, see, like damn, Nutcracker? you can just come, no. Like at Christmas time? It's like no. a classic. No, I've never, I, I didn't even know you could just go in there and sit and do work. Oh my god. I was, like, confused, but sorry, continue. <laughs> okay, um, so... Moved to I Montreal? Graduated, yeah, I graduated high school in Montreal, and then I went to this thing called CJIP, which is, like, in between high school and university, kind of like college a little bit. Is this a Montreal thing? It's a Quebec thing. A Quebec thing. A Quebec thing, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I did like three years of interactive media, yeah. which is like really cool for that. Yeah. Am I in focus? No, continue, continue. Okay. Don't yeah. worry about me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, I did like a three year, three years of interactive media, which is like really cool. A lot okay. of like photo videos, like projectors. Is that how you got? Well, no, we'll get to that after. Like some like um, infrared sensors, like all that stuff. Some advanced shit. <laughs> yeah. Some we did like a lot of like AR and like VR research to know like oh, AR. You know what it is? I, like I don't know AR. I know VR. Augmented reality. Like Google Glasses, or like, like isn't that VR? No. So virtual augmented is what? It's like it's nice. I have my my phone on my shopping on the IKEA app. Yeah. And I want to see what the couch looks like in my looks like in my living room. I just take my phone, and I can see the couch like physically. Like, oh, so it's kind of like VR, virtually. but like in a photo version or like a device kind yes of and, screen. Yes, I know, cause like Google Glasses. 
if you're wearing your glasses like this, you can see like everything's gonna like, pop up as you're walking. Okay, what's v- VR then? Virtual reality. But it's like, like you why have, is that like, different? Isn't Oculus that? Rift, like, but isn't the Google Glasses just like the Oculus Rift, but just like not as contained? No, no, because okay, AR like it takes the reality in front of you. Like what you're seeing is actually just like augmented. Oh, okay, VR okay, okay, is, okay, like, okay. You're That's watching, a bad, like a video. Uh, next time you explain it, get yeah, start, I should probably go with that. that yeah. Okay. Have you ever <laughs> tried Google Glasses though? I have not. Oh. I want, like, I'm, I'm contact not like, lenses. ugh, but like, I'm, I'd like to try them. Like, I'm using contact lenses type thing. Do they actually have contact lenses? No, but like, the future's coming. Okay, like, yes, yes. Like, we it, all want contact lenses. Actually, I can't put on contact lenses. I usually wear contacts. I don't have my glasses today. I know. Plus, it's raining. Like, <laughs> I tried it for, for a Halloween outfit. You know those, those oh, special yeah. ones? How do you put on contact lenses? Like, I literally was crying, like, for the next, like, five <laughs> hours. It hurts. It hurts your eyes. I, I guess you're used to it. I, I understand. I've been wearing them since I was a kid. The first time you put it on, though, do you remember that? I was crying for like uh, about two minutes. That's it. I mean, maybe, <laughs> what, maybe am I'm I just like, like a bitch or something. Like, <laughs> yeah, maybe. <what> okay. <laughs> you're just like super sensitive. We're gonna move on. Um, yeah. But, sorry. So you were you did this course and then you came back to Ottawa. Yeah. So I'm just starting like started now at Carleton. Um, so you took like a weird inter like finish the end of high school kind of thing like what is the th- what is what was it okay, called okay so high school for us there's no grade 12 it ends grade 11 okay and then you have to do something before getting to university because so it's this thing called CJIP it's like college basically yeah for two or three years so you go and you study like what you want to study so I did like communications and like my profile was interactive media I think I've heard of this but I'm not sure Okay, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Go, go no, back to, it's, come it's, back to Ottawa. For anyone that's not, like, that hasn't lived here, that doesn't know it, it's, like, a foreign subject. Like, no one understands it. Like, I don't even understand it. I just did it. Yeah, no, no. I, some, someone tried to explain the school system in France, and I was so lost. Oh, France is, oh, my God. And Have I, you ever heard I, of it? It's, like, reverse. I studied reverse. in France for a semester. It's, uh, you can't understand it. It's reverse, yeah, right? No. And then, like, you <laughs> go and you take, I don't even know. And there I was know. even another one that explained to me where it's, like, oh, I don't even remember what it is, but you have to get a job. Like you, you, you train for your industry in high what? school or something. In and high then, school. And then you go. It's not even not called high school, but it's you. What, it's like back art. No, no, no. It's 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 a different country. I don't remember what it was. But you what? study, you train for a job. You say I want to be a secretary, and then you spend three years, oh and you have God, to choose, no. and you train for choose that before you before you're studying it. Like. Yeah. I can't. I can't. I don't uh, even know what I want to do. I don't like, even know. Life, no, no, so but then, know. like, it's only, like, a year, and you instantly get a job. It's in oh Norway, God. I think, or some shit like that. It's kind of interesting. It's interesting. But it's not for me. Yeah. It's not for me. But they, they do have a very good school system over there, so it, they're probably onto something. Yeah, probably. I'll be honest. Um, okay. When you came back to Ottawa, yeah. what, what, what was up? I came back, what like, was, what was hanging out? two months ago. Okay, so nothing, really. <laughs> nothing well, like, not, like, you know, summertime. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Uh, I Are you in school right now? Yeah. Okay, for what? Communication and media studies. Communication and media that's studies. That's my major. My minor is digital humanities. Whatever that means, guys. Yeah. That's what she's in. That's but what let's I'm get in. into <laughs> the real meat and potatoes. How did you get into photography? When did that sprout up? Okay. Um, since I was a kid, I love taking pictures. You know, the camcorder. Respect. The camcorder is like we got like actual cassettes. Like, uh, I'm a '90s kid. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, do you have one? Like, not physically with me now, but at home, yeah. Oh, really? Because I need to get some tapes removed, so I might need to borrow that. But sorry. Um, <laughs> the camcorder, I know yeah. what you're talking about. I've seen tapes around, but I've never actually used one. We used the... We got it... Oh when God. I was growing up, because I'm 18, so two years younger, but, yeah, but we had still. digital. Or, like, I don't remember. I remember my dad used to do tapes, but I was way too young. I was, like, three years old or okay. some shit like that. But, no, I would have the camcorder and, like, trying, like, to film yeah. stuff and taking yeah, pictures. Yeah, no, no, I understand. you could take pictures and film with it. You are doing random stuff. Yeah, and I, there's this one picture Respect. of me when we were in Italy, like, on vacation. I was, like, six. Yo. And I have this camcorder in my hand, which is, like, basically it's the size of my head at the time. And, like, it's bigger than me. I'm, like, lifting it up trying to take a picture of something. Yeah? Yeah. I'm not even kidding. Like, I have a photo when I was 12 in Italy. Where were you in Italy? Uh, I, okay, you don't remember? No, no, but uh, I can't remember if it was like Rome that we were in. Or it was in Florence. Like, I can't remember like where. Like, I was in Venice on a boat, and I was like twelve, okay. so six years ago, with a, uh, it was a it was a rebel something rebel XSI like like not even the T three I's like okay. even way before that. Yeah, I went to T3I, and for yeah. some reason I always thought I. For, I got in my head that we were at the exact same spot and we got the exact same photo, but Damn, it's a little maybe. different. But we both got photos of us young in Italy yeah. holding cameras. Yeah, no, um, I've just always been into it. Like I've always like tried to see this stuff from a different perspective. Yeah. So. No, I respect. Yeah. It. I love that, and especially that yeah. you got into it young. So how did that evolve then? 
Um, you just started. I just did you started, did you completely oh God, forget? Yeah, no, and then no. later we're like, fuck! I remember I used to do this. I no, love this. No, you know like these like little cameras that you, like disposable cameras like that oh, they yeah, were yeah. filmed. Yeah, yeah. So you had to like go get them developed after. Did you? I thought they instant printed. No. There were some not, that instant. Not back in my day. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> like you have to like say the Walmart or whatever, and like you actually had to get like the film, okay. like disposable camera. But you were and, just like, shooting you had, anything. Anything. Yeah. Like anything. You I would just get. carry around in your bag. Yeah. Like I have my camera right now. Like I always have my yeah, camera yeah, with yeah. me. <laughs> really? Like actually, like no, except no, no. when I'm going to class. But like I, I always have my camera with me. Like I'm always ready to shoot something. I think I just never leave the house. But like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you got but the yeah. disposable film cameras. And yeah. what, how, how old were you then? Um, probably you don't like remember, you don't remember. Eight, probably like say eight to like twelve. Damn, she was young. She started yeah, young, guys. Young, this is like, a real veteran. Yes. Um, <laughs> we're talking to a real veteran of the industry. Um, then it got then digital came, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was thirteen and I got my first camera. You got your first. Well, my camera. first and the only one. I still have it. Like seven. Your parents years later. are like, we're getting you a fucking camera. No, I bought it with my money. Oh, actually. Yeah, I saved up like Christmas and birthdays for like a good two years and like. Did you have any camera. idea what you wanted to do with the camera? Like, you know, were you consciously like, oh, I'm going to start taking pictures of people? Or were you just like, I want a was, fucking camera? I wanted a camera. <laughs> and it was more like nature. Like, I have to walk around, like, take pictures. Like, oh, leaves. Or like, oh, my God, there's oh, really? snow. Very landscape nature. Yeah. Kind and of like, thing. no, I'm not landscape. Well, I, I oh, mean, yeah, yeah. I'm more portrait. Oh, it, it always like, evolves. Yeah. Especially it evolves. And I think that, like, yeah, you might be taking portraits now, but you never know in a year. Yeah. You might be doing something completely you different. You never know. But yeah. Um, and then you went to school. That, that, that thing you went to school yeah. for is photography Interactive related. Media. Yeah, I had like photography classes, like I do like a lot of videography. I had like some, I had to make like a magazine type thing. A yeah. lot of like hands on experience. Did you ever think you would be, you know, this, did you ever think this is this is what my job was going to be? Like, um, when I did that wanted, switch over? Okay, Were I you like, I want to be a doctor? I wanted really? to be a photographer. Okay. And, and then, your parents were like, stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, Stop your dreams. <laughs> no, my parents kind of had a heart attack after high school. I was like, yeah, I'm going into an interactive media. What the heck is that? Like, can you get a job in that? Yeah. It's like a whole it's, other oh, conversation. Oh, especially it's like, yeah, interactive media. I mean, you're like, what? And like, they didn't grow up yeah, with that. No, I mean, like, I love my parents. Yeah. Like, but sometimes if guys if you guys are listening i love you like je vous aime vraiment beaucoup but sometimes you guys are All stuck <laughs> with the the mentality of like doctor lawyer engineer yeah but over the years they've let that go um just okay quick background my dad is from haiti and my mom's from egypt okay so they have like oh, you're their, a very their diverse kind of very diverse. person yeah especially born and then lived in france i didn't live in france i, I studied haiti there. and egypt yeah but egypt is egypt has some french right yeah they do okay, yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I met a girl, actually, no, I never met a girl from Egypt. She's from Morocco. I thought oh. she was from Egypt. <laughs> it's like different sides of the continent, but like, okay. Yeah, no, well, it was in Paris, and I was like, oh, is she from Egypt? No, I'm not sure. <laughs> I've never been to Egypt. I, have you ever been? No, I want to go. What but about like, Haiti? No. Haiti's where there was the volcano. Earthquake. Earthquake? Yeah. Wasn't there a volcano, too? I remember I learned about, was that Haiti? I, I don't, I don't it, know. Wait, earthquake for sure. Earthquake for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think I remember the earthquake. Yeah, I think it's 2009. Ooh, don't quote me on that though yeah okay it's been a good 10 years i think how has it been since you've gone to school so the the, the relationship with the parents have been fine oh yeah very very good it's just like after high school they were kind of like shocked that i was not pursuing something like in math or science yeah. like they did were you ever good at math and science oh 100 percent, like 90s like throughout yeah, high okay. school and yeah. it's like well why aren't you doing it i'm like well i don't like it <laughs> that's the thing i agree i was i was getting yeah. 90s 90s heavens 90 like yeah. actually in math like i don't know about english like i got 68 in english so i was pretty well, bad I in, english. in french so like Okay. Like my entire life, like even in Ottawa. Yeah. Okay. But were you good in French? Yeah. 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 yeah but like I'm that's the thing. Like you're always students. you're always good at yeah. Like yeah, I like, agree. Actually, I'm an all around good <laughs> student, and then people are like, you can do anything you want. I'm like, yeah, but I want to do that. <laughs> exactly. No. Exactly. You have to go what you what you love and what you're passionate about. It's not like math doesn't involve like in photography. There's plenty of math. Like, yeah. Uh, like get the right angle for the shot. Yeah. Like you actually have to do ground. calculations. Well, actually, you do that. <laughs> I lay down the You ground? angle. You lie on the ground and. Yeah. Yeah, if they're taking a shot, we're like lying down. Yeah, but down, I never like, measure the angle. No, I don't measure the angle. It but could like, be useful though if you're trying to do some Photoshop stuff. Like a four to five, forty-five degree angle, like up. I yeah, think. no, no, it I could be know. useful. But um, yeah. was there any influences as growing up that got you in photography, or was it all like kind of internal? Um, growing up and nowadays internal, too. But nowadays. Nowadays, yeah, I have a couple of inspirations. Spit them. Okay, Kerbins. Shout out who to that my is. boy Kerbins. <laughs> um, do you know Kerbins? Yeah, actually, okay. no, we went to like middle school together. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, at the real Kerbins on Instagram. I love his work. And he like pushed you. Um, I had like tons of photography questions that I would always ask him. So he, so he was, was like, the know know it guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, he's really cool. Like, okay. All his concepts no, are really I had a friend. Yeah. I had a friend like I've never asked him questions, but it's nice to have someone there that like does it with you because then you don't look 
it's, it's like yeah. easier to stay do you know what it means easier to stay motivated kind of thing like if you're doing with a friend like you yeah. do a lot of photography with a friend it's true because then like you know you can say we're bad but you know i got my homie <laughs> here so we're both bad <laughs> you know we're not gonna both we're both not gonna be successful together no i get that um let's say who else yeah also because like i wanted to go to carlton he was he's doing like comms in media studies like now so I think he's the third year. Yeah. And like going in, I'm like, okay, well, what's this program? Like, can you give me like info about it? So like he helped me kind of like make my university choice a bit. Yeah. You know? Oh, that's always nice to have someone. Yeah. Else. Any any other influences? And also you can spit any like big ones. Like, you okay, know, like, well, like famous people. Well, Peter McKinnon. Like, uh, obviously. Respect. Like, obviously. Big Peter. Um, Alan Palander. Do you know? Yeah, Alan Paulander, Ottawa, yeah. Ottawa's very own. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> Damn, I just made a Drake reference. <laughs> Ottawa's very own, Alan Paulander. Oh, God. Um, yeah, no, he's really cool. Have um, you ever met him? No, I have not. I feel like I'm you gonna meet. Me- I feel like I'm gonna meet him one day. I want to. No, 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 no. no. I've never met him, I but I feel to. like I'm gonna meet him one day. Okay, he's wait. he's actually new in the space, kind of, right? Like, he only. No. No, I've been following him for a while now. <laughs> yeah, like two years, right? Before that, no, he like, was. That's not that new. If you think of the industry, like the industry is like. It's true. There's a lot of like nowadays, like, changing, like nowadays, it's like you constantly. know the tops, right? Yeah. But before you were like these are the only ones. You know what I mean? Like Alan yeah. Paulander, Peter McKinnon, like there was not a lot of people. But now, like Peter McKinnon is like he's easily the biggest, I think, in the space. Yeah, Four like, million followers. Unattainable inst- level, like right there. Like <laughs> I wouldn't say unattainable, but well, he. He found a way to, to, to monetize it to more than yeah. just the photography. And also, grow. The, he grew the photography yeah, community. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, anyone else? I don't think. Uh, the architect, Fitch, on Instagram. I love Archite- him. Bro, have you met him? No, I have not. Dude, uh, I, was gonna ma- I think I was going to make a video with him. Really? I don't know, but you know, he's actually dope, eh? Oh, my God, yes. And, like, Will Respect. Carey. I'm, I'm going to tag him in this. <laughs> Who? Will Carey? Yeah. Is he an Ottawa person? Yeah. I don't know. He has, like, I think... 11 or 12,000 followers on Insta? Will Carry. Oh, Ovo. Oh. Yeah, Will Carry, Ovo. Oh. Like, no, let's see. Will Carry. Check him out. I think I know. I th- Ovo? I think it's, no, I think he's like, it's Will Carry, his name, but I think he has like Ovo at the end of his username. I think I know who you're yeah. talking about, but I'm not sure. I'm sorry, no. Will Carry. I don't know. <laughs> no, um, okay, but yeah. let's get into it. I know you Go do a it. lot of. <laughs> Go for it. Thank Go you. Go for it, yeah. <laughs> I know you do a lot of, of portrait right now. Yeah. Right? So. Yeah. And I've actually, I, I looked, I looked, I did my research. You stalked my Instagram, basically. Yeah, for a quick minute or two. Um, you do a lot of female portrait photography, yeah. so yeah. how did you get into that? And then also spit some tips for okay. things you've learned Got on it. posing women and, you know, okay. and why, why, why women? There's no specific reason, honestly. It's really? more because <laughs> when I started, like, I wanted to, like, shoot, like, people instead of, like, just landscape. Yeah. I needed friends to, like, that would be, that would be willing to, like, so you just went for subject. it. Yeah. So I just went for it. How did you it. switch from landscape to portrait? What was that? Um, I think I was more intrigued by like humans and their emotions. Yeah. Like, how it You're like, these through. landscapes are poopy. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, when I travel, I love landscape photography. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> Landscape's so easy, too. If you're at a nice place, you just... And it's like, yeah, but damn. I'm, I'm not like... You know, like Maureen Lake, like in, like in Alberta? Yeah. It's like the classic You're not shot. like the... Yeah. I'm just like, oh, I like getting out of the classics. Oh, yeah. No, like, I, I agree. But there's a lot... Of, even then, like, you go to, like, some random mountain in the middle of nowhere, like, if it's all you gotta yeah. do is set your f-stop to 16 or 22 or whatever, and then just snap a picture yeah. on a tripod and, you yeah, know, 100%, like, throw a preset on there. Defin- <laughs> definitely. <laughs> and bang. Like, landscape is easy stuff. I think portrait is actually where it gets very, you can get more creative with it. Yeah. So, yeah, I started because I wanted to capture, like, the human, like, its emotions. Yep. And, like, every, I wanted every picture to have a story behind it. Yeah. Um, so, females, because, like, that's what I knew. That's like my yeah, friends. Yeah, your friends were you know? just females. Like, okay, that's a let's funny. Go for it. Yeah, that's a funny um, story. Actually, and it kind of like stuck. Actually, like now I basically shoot like all females. Do you have you ever? Do you ever shoot males? I want to. So if you're a male model in Ottawa, like hit me up. Oh, like for just sure. plugging guys. Like, <laughs> <laughs> go for it. Like slide into my DMs at oh, Karina really? underscore okay. Joseph. Like I'm, I'm ready for you it. You have like, any go. experience shooting it though? Like in the past, have you like maybe one um, or two or like was okay, there ever a re- okay, wait? I have to say this. Okay. I used to work in a photography studio for a company, so I have shot oh, really? like like men before and like I've done like all like the family she's pictures. done it all guys I've done like the maternity pics like the engagement pics I've done like a uh, newborn photography like all of it like, what's the, your like, favorite studio. I love like moms to be oh like the like, pregnant the ones the pregnant ones yeah yeah it's, I feel like that'd be a cool uh, thing to shoot it is, especially like, emotional and shit like that yeah and in the studio like all lighting like you can play around with, like yeah yeah I don't know oh the studio, studio of it. I don't know studio that well but I imagine you would have so much more 
flexibility. Yes, it's amazing. Like, I, know I my, love it. Yeah. I love it. Okay. Yeah. Studio is like my one true love, I think. Who? Studio. <laughs> oh, studio is your one true yeah. love. Yeah, okay, that's kind of sure. general, but um, <laughs> tips. <laughs> tips. Okay. Yeah. Always make sure you fix the hair so you can see like your face. Fix the hair, guys. Tip because number one. It's it's a must. It's it's a must. Yeah, and you're yeah. the one looking at the person, right? So they can't see themselves. No, exactly. And say like, you know, I look good. You know yeah. what I mean? Anything I like, else? I like to make my subjects laugh, like make it look natural. You just like spit a joke kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, basically. Like, I you know. Look, yeah. I've used to do that actually. Um, no, uh, if not, I like playing with lines, like having like an S line, like with their arms or like. I have high, no, like <laughs> it's, it's weird to explain, but like have them pose in a way like they're the, so like they form like a triangle. Or, like, Do you have like set poses that kind of build up in like a catalog kind of thing? Like your no, go-to but poses, I go or is on it Pinterest always just like all the time? Okay. And I have like a like board for every shoot that I'm gonna do. Oh so if really? I'm going to a specific location, I will like Google Maps like the locations and like go like on the like, Street View to okay. see like what's around it. Yeah. I will go on Pinterest after and put like a hundred pictures like in a board like inspiration. If it's like lighting or like colors or like poses, yeah, yeah, like yeah, all no. that, all that stuff. Okay. And then when I get to the shoot, I'm like, okay, here's what I want to do. And I don't you copy show them. it. Yeah, I show them. Okay. I don't copy it, but like I use oh, yeah, it as no. inspiration. That's the thing. Like, there's a. I don't think there's such thing as copy. Like, you can't. You, know, like, you can't. Like, no, you can't. You can't, you can't copy you can't. because, like, even if you recreate something, it's still like your own. Exactly. You're using different shirts. You're using different whatever. Exactly. Things like that. Literally every single thing in the creative industry is taking someone's idea and just making it your own. Even if it's Definitely. the slightest adjustment, there's no. I don't think there's any such, such thing as copy. No, you can't. You can use it as inspiration. But okay, yeah. so that's what. That's how you. That's how, how you do I, it. Yeah. Anything else then? Um. It also, it depends like what I'm shooting. Like if it's for like, a client or okay. if it's for a company. Like different. Okay. What's the difference? What's the difference there? Do you just like when it's for a client? Do you just listen to the client kind of thing? Client as in. As it's a person, like as a, a person. person. Like if it's like a company, it's like, oh, I have to sell like a contract, an official contract. Then it's like I have to sell like a mood board. I have to see like what they want. They send me like color schemes, like all that. That's a lot of work. Okay. Yeah. Um, it depends. Like sometimes it's like, a, like a company, it's like back and forth, back and forth yeah, yeah. for like a long time before yeah. you shoot. Um, and once you shoot, like they want to see what you're shooting, so like you have to like take a break, like mid shoot, to show them like what you're shooting, how you're framing, blah 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 blah. Yeah. Okay. And then after the shoot, they give you like lots of feedback, like, "Well, we like this, no, we don't like that," you know, like, yeah, yeah. You know <laughs> No, I, I know is. exactly what you mean. I, I do it on the video side. Like, the thing is, like, it's kind of hard for photo. It's a lot easier to show, right? Yeah. Video, sure. you're like, yeah, here's for this sure. clip, right? But they don't know exactly. So that's the thing. When you're editing it, they're like, "Nah, this yeah. edit sucks." Redo the whole thing. <laughs> I think about photos is like, yeah, you can just do your little retouches. Yeah, right? it's not that bad. But video, you're done. It's never happened that someone's like, "Oh, I don't like it." Like, it's you never happened. Ha no. Never had that. No, I okay. had to like touch up certain things, but never like, "Oh, like I, I want to." Re shoot okay let, let me yeah. move on let me elaborate on that have you yeah. ever had any bad experiences then with clients or companies um if you're if you're willing to share bad experiences in what way you know <laughs> like it's just a rough time and like how do you how do you deal with like you know clients that you don't really like after the shoot or before the shoot you know let's say let's say let's start with at, before sorry okay if there's a client that's like kind of like yeah this is gonna be like because i talked to a guy last week actually and Anytime the client like if if he's already done the shoot and like he you know he, he just sends the work but if the client is like pissing him off or doing anything like that he knows I'm not gonna have fun on this like before yeah before yeah he he says he yeah says I'm, not, no. I'm not doing a shoot he's he's a very like I do this because I love it and yeah. like yes I'm getting paid but like the thing but is like still, I want to have fun right yeah you can get paid like for another client like you don't have to do all the oh yeah yeah. yeah so no, so what's your that. what's your mentality on that do you ever deal with do you just deal because I've done it before do you ever just deal with the client just to deal with the client and get the money kind of thing no 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 <laughs> that was like a really quick no but no no no, um, no no that's good that's good photography is my passion um like yes obviously like i charge for shoots because like i have stuff that i have to pay guys she charges i charges it's a new thing <laughs> i didn't know we don't we don't accept exposure anymore <laughs> <laughs> no like i'm all for collabs like 100 percent. oh yeah yeah <laughs> but no yeah it's collab the thing about collabs is exchange of value the thing about yeah. a photo shoot sometimes is it's not an exchange of value at definitely all. True. it's like here are your photos yes maybe i get one or two from my and Instagram page, but at the same time, like I'm putting all yeah. the work in. You're just standing exactly. there. Exactly. <laughs> no, I get that. But if a client's tough, I, I'll try to make them understand. Like I'm going to put my creative vision into the shoot. Yeah. And like if they don't like that, then like I'm not going to accept the contract. Like I yeah. don't care. Like you can pay me like ten thousand dollars if I'm not going to like it. I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you ever put that in the contract? Because I know my friend does that. He has complete creative yeah, control. Yeah, I do. And I'll I say. do actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's in the contract. It's a good thing to do, guys. Put yeah. your put that you have 
all end all say in the yeah because like, in the, the end that's style it, too. yeah in the end yeah. it's it's your choice it's yes your you can work. you can you can listen to their revisions but if they want you to do something completely different and you think it's the ugliest thing ever like you could be like nah yeah, but bro at the same time the company should not reach out to you if you guys don't have the same vision like when you're starting oh, yeah. out like if they've done their homework on you if they gone on your website your Instagram or whatever like yeah. they should know what your style is like and not ask you to do something completely different yeah and also like they actually I lost my train of thought what the heck <laughs> no um they are they are hiring you for your creative yeah. thoughts and things like that so I think in the end they're just wasting their money if they don't and your time let, yeah your money their money your everyone's time. everyone's time everyone's yeah, money basically oh uh, I guess not your money because you're getting paid but, but yeah technically yeah. your money because you bought the gear but whatever yeah true <laughs> um, they're wasting your time and just wasting everything because they hired you for that reason they hired you for your creative vision if they're just gonna dismiss that then you know because at the end at the end of the game like it's half of half half of what you're getting paid for I think is your gear and half of it is your actual skills and your creative thoughts well, well, actually, I don't know. I don't know the ratio. Have, but I don't know yes. the ratio. You for sure have to pay back your gear oh, at yeah. some point, and you'll your time. Thing, like, your people, time is worth money, guys. Yeah. Like, do you charge? For, you technically charge for gear, right? In the the contract, or is just your skills? Just your because you have to think about that, right? Like yeah. the gear you're using, like even though it's not a lot, like it's still like. I have to upgrade my gear, so like I really need to like start getting some contracts, like more. <laughs> guys, she <laughs> needs contracts. I, hit her up for photo yes, shoot. Hit me up, please. Um, no, uh, but no. What I usually do is I usually have like a price. Um, depending on, like the time like how long we're we shooting for and then my editing time yeah that's how I price it okay I don't charge for my gear um, yeah so you like, charge you charge for the time of for, the, the hourly rate yeah n- no okay wait no it's like I have a fixed price for the shoot yeah and a fixed and price then, for the editing yeah yeah but like I, I know how much time I'm gonna spend on the project before oh yeah 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 you, you get better at, at predicting yeah how exactly mu- how much it's gonna exactly be. but um oh, wait biggest mistake that people do is that they undercharge like they don't value themselves themselves enough like that's that's my yeah problem. they undercharge yeah did you ever have an experience with that where you f- like you know when did you realize you were undercharging did you ever yeah. realize you're undercharging yes, I did. okay um when, I when was <laughs> that was it like just like someone was like dude why are you so cheap like no, was it that it, it was, actually it was my mom <laughs> Mom's like, what? It was like five dollars for this? <laughs> yeah, no. She's like, you have to make sure, like, when you put it back on, like, to like an hourly like ratio, I guess. Yeah. Like, you have to make sure that like, you're getting like enough for your time, because like, if you, so you're not working like minimum wage. Yeah. You know. I'm gonna spit something quick. Go for it. Because I don't know if I'll actually put this in, in a, as a clip, but okay. I, I made a blog post about it today, and it was actually Jamie's life who told me about this. Um, okay. Friend of mine, or like you know, good friend now. I didn't know him before, but I have a podcast. <laughs> but he pretty much says that like. Okay, so it's different for that, right? But he does a lot of trial filmmaking and how he charges and how how the big people charge, really. You have to look at, instead of the hours that you're taking in to make the work is the value you're giving the person. Yeah. So this is the example he gave me. Let's say he goes, he does a video for a tour company. They charge $500 for a tour. They pay him $1,500 for that video. Okay. Then over the next year, let's say that video, you know, it's all theoretical and you have to have your, your evidence behind yeah. it. but. Let's say that video gets them 50 customers. $500 times uh, 50 customers is $2,500. The tour company paid him $1,500 to make them $2,500. Wait, $2,500 or $25,000? $25,000. Okay, yeah. 20, sorry, sorry. Yeah, no, that ratio doesn't matter. <laughs> $25,000, right? Yeah. But he only charged them $1,500. So one thing to keep in mind yeah. is also it's different for like you know photography's different photography's though. different but at the same the time project. you know it depends project. on the project but at the same time you have to look at how can you get how can these bring in customers because at the for end sure. of the day that's what the business is and and then you look at you know how many customers and you need examples yeah. um yeah we've been to, talking for a long time <laughs> yeah true i didn't notice um you have to you have to look at how much value they're going to get out for sure and that comes in your charge and that's how all these big people charge right Peter McKinnon. Obviously. You know how much he charges because he has proof that this video, he's not charging like, oh, even if his hourly rate is like, you know. It must be crazy. Like $1,000. <laughs> but the, yeah, it must be crazy. crazy but the thing yeah. is, he doesn't say like, oh, this is going to take this much money. He's like, no, I'm going to give you this video because I know that this video yeah. is going to generate like eight, $800,000 in sales. So yeah. it's going to be at least fi- like, you know, a $100,000 video. Yeah. Um, I mean, I get that. But for pictures, it's different. It is like, different. People sometimes hit me up like, oh, I want pictures for my Instagram. Like, yeah, I'm you not see, gonna, like, yeah, no, no value I agree. It, you know? I agree. They're not getting so, any value out of it. It's, so it's a more, just, it's more of a, a company related thing. Yeah, for sure. I'll agree with sure, that. Sure. And, and, but in and, and the end of the day, though, that's where all the money is. Instagram? No, 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 the companies. Companies, yes. You know what I yes. mean? Like, yes, people, uh, like individuals, I mean, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> I like to, to take pictures for people, but at the end I mean, of the day, the fun. company it is fun. It is, it fun. is fun. It is fun. It is I fun. agree. But at the end of the day, like the big bucks is Companies. working for a company or yeah. you know like freelance yeah. for a company. Yeah, oh. freelance is nice though. Like it. So freelance. Moving on yeah. to freelance. Um, it's a lot of work, guys. Like don't don't start if you're not. When ready did you for start it. freelance? Um, like really like. Yeah, serious. When did like, you start your serious business? Seriously, this summer. This summer. Yeah. This okay, summer. so you don't have that much experience in it. No, but I have enough. Okay. Do you have know. any tips then for people, <laughs> mistakes you've made okay. in okay. your freelance? Because as a free... Oh, okay. How do I explain this? It's funny how we're holding <laughs> globes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like just floating around like in a random Yeah, space. like it's... Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so random. Okay. Uh, okay, because I've done projects before. Like, where like, let's say my school, like my college hired me to like create stuff for them. Yeah. But that wasn't freelance. I was like an employee of the school. Oh, yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. But, like, as a freelance person, it's a lot of work, guys. It's like sending out emails until like 3 in the morning, like doing that late night editing. Why are you to sending school. out the emails until 3 in the morning? You should get your sleep. Um, <laughs> like, I, what? I, like, I am a student like first. Like revisions? Or it's just that you don't have to. You're, I, I'm a student. Like, okay, all my time goes into first. studying. Like, yeah, okay. It's, yeah. And then you have to catch up on stuff. Exactly. So, like, I edit at night instead of sleeping. It's not, it's not good. Like, I don't recommend it. Yeah. But. <laughs> Guys, but yeah, like manage your I'm gonna time. give her a good talk after this about getting her sleep in. But no, but everyone keeps telling me that I should sleep more. Like I've been getting like six hours now. Like you I'm need up at least to six. eight. Yeah, okay, that's good. But you need but at least eight. I used eight. to do like four or five. Like okay, this summer, thing, like, I was like four or five hours of sleep like all summer. Like I was like running. People around, are like, guys. yeah, like I can do four or five hours of sleep. Yes, but at the you're same gonna time, crash. You're gonna uh, crash. no, but it's not even just that. It's like your hours and you're awake are just shitty hours. It's waste no, hours. It's no, waste hours. Yes. No, I rather have like a good twenty hour day. And like lay around and like do Netflix okay, for like a good 20 hours. hour day compared to a like a fucking insane 16 hour day you're going double no. speed if you get your sleep in you're going double speed but that's the thing like i don't even drink coffee i'm like just naturally like always like going for it like, whatever you want but at the yeah. same time like it will affect your <laughs> no, long-term health i will yeah, let you know that, that. that for sure like 100 <laughs> percent. but no um freelance is actually it's really fun because you get it's to fun. Ki- well you kind of get to pick and choose what you want to do like who you want to reach out to you know? So you reach out to people at the start? Yeah. It was at the start. In- Instagram DMs. Okay. You send like a hundred out and you get like five to ten back. So you, you it's, So it's, that's your strategy? Not anymore. But what was it? At the start you just said, yo, shoot, it's cheap. Yeah, basically. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> basically. Okay. No, but like no shame, but like basically you're like, oh, no, no, no shame. Or, like I, agree. I use my friends Hustle. to build my portfolio. So I give them a free shoot. They get like tons of pictures and I have like on them on my on my website. You have them on their website and you're like, yeah. yo, check out my work. Yeah, basically. And it worked. Yeah, and like now like, you're gonna get your nose, yeah. But yeah, like, and like now like they're talking, they're talking like to their friends about me, and like they're contacting me for shoot. Like I'm charging them, so like yeah, it's, it goes like full circle. It goes full circle. Yeah. And how's business been recently? Actually, pretty good. Yeah. Like I, I'm, I'm able to live. There, have you ever, have you ever had it where like it's too insane with school? No. No. That's no. good though. It's never too insane because I'm gonna do it regardless. Like I will get it done. Oh like, really? Reg- yeah. Even if you had like a shoot every minute of the day. Yeah, like there was, there was this one week I had the week like of midterms. I had like two shoots in one day, and I was like, well, when am I gonna study? But no, it, it, it all works out fine. And I'm a great student. Like I'm in the nineties. Like I get I get everything done. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever made any mistakes along the way here? Um. um in your freelance, freelance that you want to no, let people because know because i've made mistakes in college and like so what I were those them. mistakes in college um always have like extra batteries with you guys it's like super important batteries guys <laughs> batteries uh extra sd cards because if you're shooting like a video and your all your sd cards are full or you only have like one well you're screwed because like then you have to look a backup on the spot or you have to like go buy an sd card which like completely like just your shoot's like done like it Guys, just cuts the vibe. Don't make the mistake. Don't make that mistake. Have you mistake. ever fallen into financial stuff? I guess you're not making enough right now, or I don't know if you are, but like to to actually register as a business, have you done that yet? No. Because you need you only you need to make thirty grand it's, a it, year. Th- yeah, thirty or thirty five. It's thirty. Okay, I'm on the Quebec side, it may be different. But uh, do you do a lot of shoots on the Quebec side? I live on the Quebec side. I live in Hull. Oh yeah. I yeah. thought you live in Canada. No, I was I know. That's my childhood. Okay, so you live in Hull, but yeah. whatever, 30, 35, you yeah. haven't done that yet. So you no, haven't had have to deal not. with any financial stuff. No, not yet. Do you just kind of, I don't, I don't want to get too personal, but like, <laughs> for me, I, I just throw it all in my personal account kind of um, thing. Okay. Do you have any, any tips for organizing your finances? Have you done any yes. finance organization um, I don't yet? have like a small business account because I'm not rich as a business. But, like, me too, I me neither. I have my like normal checking account, yeah. and then I have like 
savings accounts. They have like four savings accounts, okay? And people yeah. like don't understand like what. But, like, I have, oh like, no, my savings. you have more accounts. I have my savings. And I have like travels, and then I have like my photography. So like every time I get paid, it goes straight to, into that account. Yeah. You know, like it, I don't touch it. And then that's what it you use there. on buying gear. What, yeah, exactly. Okay. And then I have like a, like separate account for like dreams. Like if I want to buy like a new car one day, like it, yeah. I I try to like split my stuff, and then I have like my investments. And then I have my retirement fund. Because, yes, I'm 20. I already have my retirement fund. Like, guys, I am financially Dude, smart. I think you should have your retirement fund at, like, I, started, I don't have I one. But, like, 18. I think you're 18. You're 18. I know. Started. Like, I, should, I think like, I, actually, I think I, I have started my, my retirement fund. Once you're 18, fund. start investing in the stock market, guys. But, like, be smart with your money. It's actually, no, I, I, I had a friend who invested in, like, he was, like, 18. Or, like, the math. I forget. Like, no penny stocks. Like, you have to go with, like, real companies. I don't remember what it was, but he said, like, if you start, like, a financial saving account or some shit, like, you can have, like, a million dollars by the time you're like 50 I think earlier 40 I don't know but yes invest your money guys and like get ETFs and like dividends yeah so any anything else you want to let the people know about running their freelance business mistakes um mistakes let me see um always send out your pictures on time if you say you're gonna send them out by a certain date do it do it because it's gonna hurt your business if you don't yeah yeah, because people can, can leave, like, bad reviews on, like, your Facebook or page or whatever. Like, it hasn't happened to me, but I've been late, like, once for, like, pictures. And I texted the client, like, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm caught up in school. Like, I can't, like, I can't send them out. Like, they're done. I just have to review them. And she's like, okay, it's okay. Like, I understand. Like, just for this time. Yeah. But, no, you really have... If you're going to say something, you have to deliver. Like, Being late that's, sucks. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It does. Because you're just lying. Yeah. So, be honest. And it's not good. It hurts your rep. You have to have a good rep. At the end of the day, I think everyone knows how to do it. Just don't make the mistakes. Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense at all. I mean, but like, you have to put in so much time. If you're freelance, like, you really have to go get your contracts on your own. No one's going to hand them to you. Like, yeah. I mean, in life, nothing's handed to you, but you really have to push, like, give yourself that extra push yeah. to go for it. And the thing about yeah. once you do that and you have that steady flow of clients, then it's easy. Yeah. You take those clients. And then at one point, you can even start making extra money because you give away those clients. And you can start making money off of that kind of thing. Yes. But we're going to wrap it up. Go for it. I enjoyed this. We've been talking for a long time, though. <laughs> Just 37 minutes. I've talked I, to people for like... Bad. Actually, I haven't really I mean, I'm a talkative long. person, so... Yeah, no, no, no. That's easy, You probably but noticed, guys. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Um, So we're going to talk right now. Okay. Question to ask everyone. Yeah. Before the end of the podcast. Oh, gosh. What is your go-to camera setup, aka your camera setup at the moment? Okay. Let the people know. Okay. Go ahead. Um, I shoot almost everything out with my 35 millimeter prime lens. It's like a 1.8. Yep. Um, Guys, nice. what what company do you shoot with? <laughs> no. Everyone's gonna cringe when I'm gonna say it. Oh my god, it, it's Nikon, but I love Shoots it. Shoots Nikon, guys. I love it. Okay, like what's the, what's the body? Like um, just for people who might know, <laughs> it's a 5200. Like it's I've had this camera for like seven years. I have to. Is upgrade. it like a more of a beginner? Kind of, yeah. It's hey. it's a crop sensor. Like I, I need to upgrade. Like I want a full frame. I, like I don't. Yeah, we all want yeah. a full frame, but at the same time, like I've seen your pictures, and the thing is, like I remember I I used to look at my AOS R, and then like my like you know photos oh when i God. just upgraded from the eos art and the thing is they look the same it's yeah. your skills that get better is it's that, true it's like, always that okay and i story time okay i know you want to wrap up go ahead but i met this influencer the other day influencer yeah like 200 like <laughs> followers on insta respect yeah and she has like a camera like obviously and she sometimes she's a photographer sometimes she's, she's from not. no Montreal. Okay. I'm not going to name her anyways uh, because she's like yeah well I take pictures and people like I charge people for pictures but I shoot them all on automatic and I cringe like internally I'm like you can't de- like, you can't say you're a photographer if you shoot on automatic like I cringed yeah I can't like I I respect the industry <sighs> but like that's a thing everyone calls itself a professional now it's like oh I'm a <laughs> photographer I'm an entrepreneur I'm a this I'm a that but like no so yeah it's, it's funny it's funny you bring that up because I actually mm-hmm. I do agree it's a weird line it, yeah it's like Okay, is being a professional means you charge? Is it means like you have enough you can skills? Be an amateur. Yeah, you can be an amateur, and that's yeah. the thing. Like, I think what a friend actually told me, and this is where I get all my information, just from friends. <laughs> from is friends. Hey, he organizes it by full time, part time, and hobbyist. Okay. And that's the thing. You're a part time. You know, yeah, if you yeah. shoot, you know, like her, she takes photos of people. Yeah. And the thing is, yeah, she shoots on automatic, but you know, she might take like you know, some cool angles. Yeah. I actually, I don't really know where I'm going with this thought, but I agree with you that it's a weird line between is, photographer, professional photographer. Yeah. How do you, how do you, how do you, how do you find um, the line between that? 
it's very difficult. Like, I don't know if I would even call myself a professional, even though I've worked, like, in a studio. Like, I've, I've technically had the title of a professional Why wouldn't you call yourself a professional? Because I don't do it full-time. It's, so you think it's, it's the full-time thing? Yeah. If you have enough of. money to live, maybe we'll leave it at that. Yeah, if you have if, enough money yeah. to live... Off, like, like you decently, know, like off decently, like off of your art. Then no, I yes. think just live. Like you know, you can be a, photo- a professional photographer. I mean, and and like be dying, like, like living on the streets. You're a pro. No, I mean, <laughs> hopefully. But then, if, the, if but then it comes a question like, what is the line? How much money do you need to make? Just enough to live. But then, like, that's different for everyone, right? It depends on where you, and what where does you living are. mean? Like, like oh we're getting into God. the meaning of I life know, now. Like, I, can I say it in French? Oui. Que tu tes besoins? No clue what you said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make a micro que, accent. Que tu fais à tes besoins? Que tu souviens, like that you actually like you can you have everything that you need. Like you have like a house, you have food, you have like clothing. Like, but like that's like what you need, right? Yeah. And you don't need clothing to live. Uh, in the winter. How many clo- here, How much? How much here? clothing do you no. need to live? Like it comes down to that. You know what I mean? Like you need like a good pair of boots for the winter, like a good like winter coat. So you just need one shirt and everything. You can live off of that. Like just do laundry a lot, but yeah, but like, like cut the, your expenses. But like the point I'm trying to make is like, <laughs> who who gets to decide what is enough? You know what I mean? Okay, I get your point. But you know what all I mean? All like I'm to some say people don't need a house. Like you know, like you don't need the house that big. homes, like you know, like the ones that you can like live in, like yeah. I love but like that. what are we now we're saying to be a professional <laughs> no. you need to be able to live in a little home like no okay but i think what i'm trying to say is that the industry is like saturated it's like oversaturated yeah. like okay. everyone is calling themselves a professional i think every, in every single business everyone's just name tagging everything and yes. if you don't have the skills to back it up then exactly get the fuck out of my exactly. face exactly thank you thank you get the fuck out of my someone face someone agrees with me people uh, hate like it's like my unpopular opinion yeah and honestly i call myself a digital creator but i don't even know what that means <laughs> <laughs> i mean i'm studying digital humanities like what the heck is that okay we're gonna yeah. we're gonna ask the second part of the question now okay and you've been talking about this what is your dream camera setup Okay. Have you ever thought of this? Yes, it's Nikon again, guys. I'm guys, sorry. She's going for Nikon. You can cringe. I don't really care. Um, the 850. It's like a 45 me- like megapixel like full frame Damn. sensor. Yeah. Oh my god. It's like a Canon 1DX. Like, like it's looks like, like it has a battery grip kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, it's a it's heavy like duty. Four thousand dollars. Oh yeah. <laughs> like the dream. I mean, yeah. And like I would probably want like a. 24 you like DSLRs? Dis- have you ever shot mirrorless? Um, have I? Yes. Do you like it? It's different. It's different. It's different. So you don't know. I'm I'm not. But that's your what you have your eyes on right now. Yes, and I'm probably like a 24 to 70 like millimeter lens. Respect. That's my favorite. Oh, I don't have it, but that's my go-to uh, that's, lens. Yeah, too. I would, It just seems so versatile. Uh, is the thing. Yeah, and probably like an 85 prime. Damn. You're yeah. just adding, eh? You I'm think just adding. Just adding? Like, go for it. <laughs> throw in a drone. Throw in a. Yeah, but like, okay, drones are cool. But you can't like really fly them anywhere anymore. Like, too oh, yeah. many restrictions. It's no, like, I, have, I have my license. It's, it's tough. The thing is, like, it's not yeah. as tough. It's just annoying. Because the thing is, you need to call... If you're an advanced license pilot, you can actually fly anywhere except, like, something like four kilometers from airports. Yeah. And you can actually even fly in any airspace as long as you call the airport first and say you're flying. But still, like, that's a lot of work. It is. I'm, I'm saying like, it's a lot of work, but the thing is, if you put in the work, really, it's not that good. much work. Because yeah, you can fly good. over... I can fly over Ottawa... All I have to do is is call the airport, but th- at the same time, the laws are ridiculous. Yeah. Where you can fly. Yeah, exactly. It's like not like where you can fly, but like you can't go in this. You can't go between buildings. You can't like you have to be at least like you have to be high up. Oh, it's ridiculous. But <laughs> yeah. um, we're gonna finish off here. Do you want to yeah. plug yourself? Oh my god! If like you the want, you don't have promo. to. You don't have to plug yourself. But I let people okay. plug themselves at the end if they want. Okay, so like well, she needs clients, guys. I, so no, I mean, yeah, I mean, everyone needs clients. Okay. But like honestly, if you're a male model, like hit me up because I want to start shooting males. Okay. Um. So my Instagram is at Karina underscore Joseph. Just so you spell Karina right, it's K O R I N A. Super important. You will find me very easily. Like no one has like that name. Yeah. Um. My website is KarinaJoseph.com. Super simple. Um, simple i like simple. it simple that's like, how i do it too those are like my two main like instagram is like my main platform like i'm not even gonna plug like my snapchat or my tiktok or my twitter like just go to my instagram like everything's there do you want to leave the people with your mom do you have a mantra for life yes i have two okay well pick your better one okay and leave it okay. with the people what you live by <laughs> and what you want to let people know okay this is what i live by and i actually have this like tatted on my body so like it's really important oh to it's me. respect okay yeah it's like yeah well both of my mantras are tatted on me okay <laughs> anyways off subject um it's my favorite thing that i really really like it's so important yeah. i'm just gonna leave it i'm just gonna say it and like we can cut it after but like do not let the behavior of others destroy your inner peace 
guys. That, that's, that's, that's it, guys. Thank you for that's listening it. to Shutter Talk. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode with Karina Joseph. Yep. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Bye. <laughs>